and welcome, or as we say in Irish, Falche. I'm Dervla and I'll be here throughout the series, which is aimed at helping you to speak Irish. Accents and dialects differ slightly throughout the country. and this series, we'll concentrate on Ulster Irish. But in later programmes, we'll keep you in touch with what's used elsewhere. After today's programme, you should be able to introduce yourself and comment on such important topics as the weather. So now is your chance to start from scratch or to refresh what you once knew. The programmes themselves will help you cope with all kinds of different situations and there's plenty of backup material. I'll tell you about that later on. Oh, and by the way, you're never too old to learn. We're starting off here at the marketplace. Well, first things first, how do we greet somebody? How are you? Kajimar Tatu. Kajimar Tatu. Kajimar Tatu. Kajimar Tatu. Kajimar Tatu. Listen again. Tattoo. Kajima Tatu, how are you? Kajima Tatu. Kajima Tatu. You probably noticed in the last instance the question was Kajima Tashiv. This is what you use when you greet more than one person. Let's watch a few more examples where more than one person is greeted. Listen carefully. Kajima Tashiv. Kajima Tashiv. Could you more Tasha? Could you more Tasha? Could you How are you when speaking to more than one person? Could you more Tasha? So it's could you more Tatu when greeting one person and Kajimar Tashiv, if you can get their attention, when greeting more than one. Let's watch those situations again, and this time try to figure out in advance whether it should be Kajimar Tatu or Kajimar Tashiv. Kajimar Tashiv. Kajimar Tashiv. Kajima Tatu. How are you? Kajima Tatu. Kajima Tashiv. How are you? When speaking to more than one person. Kajima Tashiv. So, it's Kajima Tatu when greeting one person and Kajima Tashiv when greeting more than one person. And of course, if somebody asks you how you are, you need to have a reply. Generally, people are too polite to say how they really feel. They'll either say, Gamai, fine, or Gamai, Gurmai, fine, thank you. Could you more tattoo? Gamai. Could you more tattoo? Gamai. Gamai. Fine. Gamai. Fine, thank you. 
The word bally comes from the Irish word bala and is commonly found in place names all over this island. Bala means a place where people live, home or a town. And now you're talking, we have our own town and Ballymore, Ballymore, where our hero and heroine Shannon and Deirdre first meet. Capricorn, lucky day Tuesday. Today the cavalry rides in. But be careful, it may take more than it leaves. Thank you. Or Gamai Garamayagat. Fine, thank you. Let's look at it again. again to a situation we saw earlier and listen to the responses and to another useful new phrase Agustu Hain and yourself Good day Martha Come on, good day Agustu Hain Come on Good morning, Mr. Hain. Good morning. Jim, 
Oh, come on, it's to him. Come on, take another look at them. Get your mouth out. Come on, get him out. It's to him. Come on. Come on, it's to him. Come on. Oh, come on, it's to him. I guess to him. And yourself. I guess to him. Throughout the series of Now You're Talking, we look at how the language and culture is woven into our lives. Let's begin with place names. The Irish imagination was never lacking, and many place names were inspired by parts of the human body. Belfast, which you see here behind me, is a good one to start with. Belfast is derived from Belferste. Bel meaning mouth and farsage, a tidal crossing. Belferste, the mouth of the tidal crossing. Other body parts were also borrowed and appear in many place names. Gula, shoulder. Kos, foot. Kion, head. Drim, back. And Thoin, backside. No part of the body was sacred. Gulahu, black shoulder. Kosh on Dala, foot of the river Dal. Kilmara, head of the sea. Drimkunrach, ridge of the path. Tonragui, backside to the wind. Belfast was active in early revivals of the Irish language and culture. And it was in this very building, then the Belfast Exchange Hall, that a unique and historical event took place. Some Belfast citizens organised the Harper's Gathering of 1792. It was an attempt to preserve the music, poetry and oral traditions of the country. The Harpers, ten in number, including 97-year-old Dennis Hempson, gave of their best and their music was transcribed by Edward Bunting. Some of the airs are very well known to us today, such as the Coolin. Unfortunately, Bunting's counterpart, who was supposed to record the words, never turned up. Subsequently, Thomas Moore wrote lyrics for many of the airs, and it's with those lyrics that the airs are identified today. Let's do a quick recap on what we've learned so far. Marit, come on, come on, good. Could you more tattoo? Another thing we tend to do when we meet somebody is comment on the weather. If it's a fine day, we say tala breon. Another unfortunately popular one is tadrochla on. It's a bad day. The answer to either greeting is invariably ta. It is. Nobody ever disagrees. Could you more tattoo, Fiona? Tell come on. Dimmer the tattoo hen. Come on, come on, good. Tell that brown. Dimmer the tattoo. Come on, come on, good. Tell that brown. That's rough, Leon. That's rough, Leon. That's rough, Leon. It's a bad day. To draw lamb. To let bram. It's a fine day. To let bram. Your turn now. You decide how to describe the weather you'll be seeing in the next few scenes. Either to la bram or to draw la on. To draw la on. 
Jimmer tattoo, Fiona. To me, come on. Jimmer tattoo, Hain. Come on. Come on, good. Tell that Brian. That Brian. Jimmer tattoo. Come on, come on, good. Tell that Brian. That Brian. And before I get too cold, did you notice how some of the people who exchanged comments on the weather added a few extra words? Ta kinche, it is surely. Ta shafuer kinche, it's cold surely. Have another look. Tasha Fuer. Ta kinche. Ta drolan. Tasha Fuer. Oh, ta kinche. Here are some more examples of those most important words when referring to the weather. Che, hot, and Fuer, cold. Tasha Fuer, you? Tasha Fuer. Ta brown. Tasha Che. Ta kinche. Ta droch leon, ta se fuer. Ta kentje. Hu, ta se che. Ta en jacuzzi che. Ta droch leon, ta se fio. Tasha Fjok. Ta drog leon. Ta tasha fuer ikus Fjok. Tasha Che. It's warm or hot. Tasha Che. Tasha fuer. It's cold. Tasha fuer. Tasha fio. It's wet. Tasha fio. And when the weather is fine, which isn't often enough, we usually thank God. Buigas le gia. Kjemer tatu. Gomai kjer mai gud. Talai brown. Ta buigas le gia. Could you feel it? Can't you? Can't you tell you, Fiona? I tell you, come on, can't you tell you here? Come on, come on, good. Tell her, Brian. Tell her, boy, it's the dear. Buyas le gia. Thanks be to God. Buyas le gia. Oh, good morning, good morning, good. Um, Kenji, it's to him. Okay, slala warm we. on phone <laughs> oh 
그럼 뭐 해결? 다시 제. 네. 김치. 슬라임. 슬라임. 헬로. 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 헬 Lucky day, Tuesday. Today, the cavalry rides in, but be careful. It may take more than it leaves. There were probably a few words in the programme that you didn't understand. Don't worry about these. We'll deal with them later on. Next time, we look at ways of introducing yourself and others. So until then, Gajishan, Slan. In this episode of Now You're Talking, you heard... Kajimar Tatu. Kajimar Tashev. Gamai. Gamai Karamahigat. Agus Tu Hain. Tadrach Lam. Tala Bram. Tasha Chi. Tasha Fuer. Tasha Fluch. We have slid here.